Right, the uh, the video battery ran out, so I'm actually not. This is the next day. I'm not actually quite sure where I was on the video, so I'm going to carry on where I think I was. If I've missed something out, uh, you'll, I'll just have to explain it in the comments. But uh, as far as I remember, <coughs> I was trying to find some wire for the trigger to connect the spring. So I've got a little bit of thin wire here. And all we're going to do now is connect the spring to it. So the spring I've got is one of these type of springs, tension spring I think they're called, and they pull up and down. I may have to connect two to mine because these feel a bit weak. But you can just put them back to back. Uh, or I'll have a look see if I can find a stronger one that will still be long enough. I can't remember if I had the crossbar open or not. Uh, that, again, that doesn't really matter either, but... So to get your springs... Like I said, I'm probably going to use two on mine. Back to back like that. Get your piece of wire. Thread it through the hole. Turn it up like that. And now you see why the grooves are there. Thread your two springs on. And then wind the wire around itself. You could put it back through if you want, if you want it double strength. Just as long as it's all in the grooves, you know, inside the groove bit. Let's just check that. Don't really matter how it looks, just as long as they're working, you know. Mine now looks something like that. So that'd be your springs. So it might actually be easier if you have the stock apart. I don't know. But you're gonna. Well, no, you. Yeah, stick the springs up. Put your bolt through. Can you feel this? Oh, no. Put your bolt through, put your nut back in, I just took my nut up, wasn't really thinking. Put your nut in. Put the nuts onto the bolts, because they don't fall out. <coughs> I don't know if I said this. <coughs> You may want, well, you may want, you, you're going to want a, a wire now. This is what will hold the springs up. So I'm going to get this now, and I've just stuck it through spring holes. And there is now the spring your trigger. Right, what you do with this nail, what you want to do is measure it to size and cut off both ends so it's exactly the same thickness as the wood. So you just want to cut off the end and cut off about that much of this nail. Might be easier if what we do Leave that nail in place, don't touch that one. Get another one. Get another nail. Mark that to the thickness of the wood. And cut this one. And then what we'll do, we'll just slide this one through the other one. So you don't have to redo the uh, 
string again. So cut the end off your hair. And then you're going to want a little fire after, a little round fire. When the fire is good there. There's your little pin for the spring. Place this one through where the other one was. <coughs> Let's see. Just place this one through the hole so it's in place and then remove the other one. Now get your crossbow stock and put it in a vise or whatever you like. For that now to sit in. I've got this little triangle file here. And let's do this about an inch back from the front. I think that should do it. Just make sure, all you've got to do is make sure the strings aren't touching the nut. But actually have, them, have it back as, as far back as you can get it. So mine will actually be three centimetres back. Wear that, wear, mark three centimetres back and then make a groove. And then just let your, you got to make it big enough for the nail to sit in flush with the top of the wood. That should do it. So there is now your spring. Which should be powerful enough. If it doesn't feel powerful enough, you may have to add some different springs. Mine does feel a bit weak, but we'll we'll see at the end whether that's strong enough or not. So, what should we do now? Let's, uh, let's get this top bit of metal on, I think. So, you need this piece of metal. Yours should be the same size as mine, or approximately that size, which will be approximately <coughs> three and three quarter inches by an inch and a half. I want it the same thickness as the wood really, so I'm going to have to cut mine. The mine's too thick, so mark that so it's so you can cut it to the same thickness as your stock. You just mark it anywhere you want and then cut it. Once you've cut it, come back and we'll fit that and I'll show you how to fit that on. Right, you should now have your piece of metal, same thickness as your stock. And we're going to want to screw that piece of metal into the wood here. So, I would recommend that you try and get the screw holes right in the centre there of each bit of ply. About 10mm down, so about there. And smack bang in the middle, two of them. See that? So you're going to want to mark the metal now in about those positions. So about 10mm down, which is there. See that? And then all you want to do is just mark down from those centre bits there and there. 
So now drill drill two or three mil hole through those and can't sink it. And then at the same time drill two little holes in there, however long you want your screws. We could use the uh yeah, use the same size screws as you did to hold the stock together. So oh also another thing, if your if your pin is sticking slightly up what we'll do, we'll just file a little bit out of the metal just so that sits down a little bit further. You can see mine's rocking a bit there. Is two things you can do, either make the groove lower or make a groove in the metal. It'll probably actually be easier to make the groove in the wood deeper. Right, so when you come back you should have the two holes drilled and ready to fit onto the stock. And two holes. Two, you don't have to drill the holes, you could use an awl, but it may be. I, I recommend you probably would need to drill two holes straight down uh, just to make sure the wood doesn't split. Alright, so drill those two holes and drill the metal, and they'll come back and we'll fit it together. Alright, I've drilled my holes and countersunk them. If you want to make sure that the holes you drill in the stock are in, in the right place, just hold your metal up and then. With a nail or pencil or something, do that, mark the holes like that with the actual through the actual holes, and then you can make sure that the holes you drill are in the right place. So now drill two holes uh, that will be as deep as your screws, basically, and they're in the metal. So you want to the same inch down or something. Just drop my screw. Screws will sit in about there, so about 15 20 mil, something like that. Drill a little hole thinner than the screws because they're too big, so it's not going to work, is it? Right, do that now. Doesn't really matter if they're too deep. I don't know if you could even see that, could you? I just drilled the holes anyway. Right, get your stock however you like it. You know, however you're comfortable. Now let's connect this bit of metal on. If your holes are a bit big, you know, if you've actually ain't done too big, just find a bigger screw. Right, so that's that bit of metal on. The next thing we're going to do is put the spring on to hold the bolt down and then we'll start cutting out for the prod and that. And then we're nearly done. So make sure that's all fitting on right. Should be flat and horizontal, you know, not tipping up. Get that all right and then we'll do the spring for the bolt. Right, so this is the stage you should be at now. You should have your piece of metal on. It should be flush and sitting on flat. Right. Just, uh, just, in, just in case I've never know, uh, never. Uh, just in case I've not mentioned this yet. If you're wondering, oh, everything's a bit rough at the minute. That's because later on we're going to tidy up all of this metal and the wood. So at this point, if everything's very rough, it's not going to stay like that. Later on, we'll we'll smarten up every part of this. Alright, so the next part we're going to put the spring on to hold the bolt down. And 
there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, it just all depends what you can find, really. You may be able to find an actual item that's perfect. I once used a knife blade, a, a but you know, like your, your what you butter your bread with, one of those because that's quite nice and springy. I can't remember how I bent it now though, and they're very hard to drill. Another thing, you could just use a bit of aluminium if you've got a bit. It won't be quite so springy, but as long as it's just low enough to touch the bolt, that'll work. Or an old spoon. Right, imagine this spoon, this little teaspoon had the actual spoon shape on it, you know. What I did, I drew straight down so you had something like this. And I cut the sides off which leaves something like that. Now all I've got to do is curl that top round slightly and that is the perfect spring to the bolt down. What that'll be is, well, if, you may have to bend it down slightly more but what that is, that's to hold the bolt down, which I'll show in a minute. So, on the plans you should have, as long as you kept them, It should be a piece of. Uh, it should be a, the design there that shows you what shape to bend this into. So as long as you bend it into a similar shape, just keep checking that if you get something like the thickness of a pencil or something, if you haven't got a bolt yet, place that on. Place that on like that and make sure that when you've curled your end over that that curled section will be touching the bolt. <coughs> right, so you want a pair of pliers or something or whatever you can find. The end you're going to have doesn't need to be anywhere near as long as what I've got there. I'm going to cut some of that off. Right, now all I need to do is curl that end over, which about pliers should do, or I may be able to do it by hand. No. But get some pliers and bend the end round. Right, so get some pliers and just bend that end round. It may help if you put it in a vise, if you can get it in there. Could do it this way, we could use pliers, like I said, and bend it round something. This isn't quite round, but this will do it. That'll do for mine. And then what you want to do is round over the edges using a file or anything you can find. And we'll come back and I'll show you what it should look like. You can just round over the edges. Right, you should now have something resembling the spring on the diagram. Mine would be a bit longer than the one in the diagram at this point. I haven't cut it yet. And what this does is sits on like that and holds the bolt down. So. Now what you want to do, given the length and thickness of mine, I'm probably going to have to bolt mine on right back here. You're going to want to drill two holes right the way through the spring and the aluminium. And this is to put two little bolts through to hold that down. You're also going to want to make sure that the spring is slightly lower than that was then. Hang on. Just use your hand to bend it down a bit. It needs to be just... no that's too low. Hang on. It's easy to adjust anyway. That's better. See how that is there. Right. And you want it so it's above the groove. It's got to hold the bolt down. So you'd want it like that. See there. So now do two, two holes right way through the spring and the aluminium. You may want to remove the aluminium to do this and then get the two bolts, if I forgot to mention the two bolts again in the materials you're going to need two little bolts similar to this kind of size about an inch by about three or four mil, three mil so uh, and that is to hold the spring on 
I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to do my two holes there and there. So, <coughs> drill the hole through this first, and then make sure it's sitting in the right place after you've drilled the holes, in about that position there. You know, it can be a bit further back. You don't really want it any far, further forward. And like that is about... Hang on, measure it for you. That spring is sitting forward by two and three quarter in... Uh, one and three quarter inches or one and a half inches about from there to there that's where it wants to be fixed so drill two holes in the the metal first in the spring first offer it up in the right place remove this metal and then drill the two holes through and bolt it on and then you can screw it back on i'll probably show you as i go along so first things first drill your holes free spring drill holes for this want to be about Three mil. Just all depends the size of your bolt. As long as your bolt will go through, mine will go through this. And then drill your holes through any way that you like. should have your two holes now. <coughs> now you want to offer this up to your metal, to your aluminium, and then using those two holes, right, just make sure your metal's in the right, your spring's in the right place. Using those two holes, mark to where to drill through the aluminium, and then drill that using the same drill bit you used to drill through there. Right, I've marked my metal. I recommend removing this aluminium for now, and then uh, remove remove that aluminium, drill the holes, and then I'll come back and tell you what to do next. Right, so drill those two holes. 